Hi guys. Well, I went to Mum's today. A nice Sunday roast. Uh, I've been back, I don't know, about an hour ish. Uh, definitely not as warm as it was yesterday. I mean, yesterday hit 29 degrees centigrade in north of Olsham. Um, according to my desktop gadget, which uh, seems to have vanished off my desktop, but it hasn't booted. None of them have. No calendar, no weather device, no clock, which is usually up here somewhere. No idea why, but it's done that before, and then all of a sudden they reappear. Anyway, uh, so I didn't really do anything yesterday apart from sitting in this computer chair, sweating my nuts off with uh, two fans going. One is actually in the bedroom because I was using it last night, using two fans again. Uh, and I did have a squirty bottle somewhere. Here it is. Nice little tip for you to keep cool, because uh, fans do tend to circulate warm air in if the room is warm. If you fill a bottle with some cold water and you're sitting there like, like topless like I was, or in fact yesterday I was actually in my boxes and socks, I was that hot, and uh, you just give yourself a squirt with this while sitting in front of the fan, and the air will feel a lot cooler and it will cool you down. So uh, that's why I've got that. That is actually water and not window cleaner. I did clean the bottle out. There was like a dribble left in the bottle, so I just washed the bottle out and used that. Uh, oh. Mr. Nemo. He didn't do a lot yesterday either. He was uh, sprawled out on that sprawled out on that chair most of the time. I do hate noisy cars when they go past. Yeah, he was sprawled out there most of the day. It's a lot cooler today. We've had rain for the best part of the day. So I suppose it's been cooler because it's been overcast. I'm feeling a nice cool breeze sitting here at the moment. Which is nice because me and the heat really don't get on. You know, we've had rain forecasts for tomorrow, and I'm like, yes! And Mum's like, no! Because <laughs> Mum loves it. She absolutely loves the heat. And then go into her house during winter, and you'd sweat your tits off and wish you were outside. She loves the heat that much. Any hoozle. Um, I've got some computer projects I want to do. I've got... The two Asus cases in the kitchen I'd like to do something with, even if I have to bodge a hard drive in there because I don't have a hard drive in, um, cage for them. <sighs> Remind me to get you some cat litter tomorrow, Nima. Um, for some reason I was about to turn the fan on, the pull cord, instead of the switch for the light. Yeah, I've got that case down there and that bloody one down there. Got my old Windows 2000 rig there to work on. That's my spare Windows 10 rig. Um, but uh, I was actually thinking, as I've never done one of these before, is to either do a Linux, Linux? I'll try that again. A Linux machine, or a Ubuntu machine, or whatever other open source. Um, operating systems are out there, perhaps do one of each, I don't know, are they all the same, I don't know, you suggest something to me, I'll let YouTube suggest something, because I've got all these down here, so you can see, um, and suggest something that these would run comfortably, because I'm sure I can dig an open source software up from the internet somewhere, even if it is an older version of Linux or something, I'm sure I can dig something up, because uh, I've got with loads of Windows XP machines. I mean, I got them ones. All three of those are on Windows XP, and I've got the two other Dell Dimensions up the top there, the um, uh, the 1200 and the 2400. I think 2400. Oh, the 1100. 
Where did I get 1200 from? Oh, I'm in a bit of a dirt moment, I think. So, yeah, I've got plenty of machines I can play. Fucking loud bastards, bugger off. You got anything better to do than a bloody race around town like a knob? Well, I suppose it's his petrol he's wasting at the end of the day. <laughs> well, I certainly wouldn't have the money to just to cruise around town randomly. <clears throat> um, actually, speaking of petrol, at some point I want to take my moped, my Honda DX80, Honda Vision DX80, sorry, over to Mum so I can work on it over there because there's a lot more room there. I'll have the extra pair of hands because my stepdad will be scared of getting stuck in. Because once he starts something, he doesn't like stopping them until he's pretty much done. A bit like me. <laughs> um, so, it'll be a lot easier. But uh, he's doing another rotavator for their landlord. An old, vintage 1946 Villiers Vickers. Or at least the engine is a Villiers Vickers. I'm not sure if the actual rotavator is. Um, so it's rare. And it's got a rare engine on it now. It's in good condition. The only part he's had, thing he's had to do is make up a new HT lead, ignition lead, whatever you want to call it. Because the old one had, well, I don't actually know how to describe it. It was all sort of gooey and sticky and... Ugh, <laughs> basically. Um... Apart from that, it's got plenty of compression. Still got the original spark plug in it, so it'd be interesting to know if that still works. I suppose you, there's a, some sort of modern equivalent you can put in it if you wanted to, I'm not sure. Um, but apart from that, mechanically it seems okay. He's just got to basically strip it down, clean it all down, paint it and put it back together. And obviously make sure it runs. And then uh, we've got a tractor to do after that, of all things. Landlord wants us to do one of his tractors. Um, same again, basically, because apparently it does run. I've never heard anyone start it since uh, Mum's been living there. So it'd be interesting to know if it still does actually run. But apparently it ran when it was parked in the barn, so... But uh, we've got to let the banger boys clear an area so we can actually get to it. Because, um... It's a retired pig farm. Um, so the landlord lives in one side of the old barn, um, farmhouse. The farmhouse has been divided into two. I don't think the landlord did that. I think the previous owner did that. But he lives one side, mum and stepdad live the other side, and then um, Mr. Biggles live in the yard, uh, in a caravan, and then uh, the banger boys rent the barn down the yard to do all their banger cars in. Uh, because if they do all their banger stuff in there, the tractor is sort of surrounded by <laughs> gearboxes, engines, and axles, and you basically name any part like that, and that's surrounding the tractor, so we can't actually get to it yet. But uh, the landlord will ask the banger boys just to clear enough space so we can get to it. That's all we need, just enough space to get it out, really. That'll probably give them some more room in the barn as well. Uh, there's a trailer in there as well. Uh, apparently, the um, landlord's going to let the stepdad have. But it needs sides and a floor put in it. And we'll probably use that to get my moped to mum's. I mean, I'm not really fussed if I don't get to finish any work on it until next summer. I'm in no rush to finish it. Um, so... That would be awesome if I can get that over to Mum's, because there's a lot more room over there, that's the thing. I've only got that farty little shed here, and it's not really practical to work on such things. It's alright with a bicycle, but uh, working on a moped, no, not really. 
Um, I think just to finish it, all I need is the wheel bearing and two tyres. That is, as, as far as I can see, all we need. You know, unless my stepdad wants to strip it down and do a full restoration on it, it's up to him, we can do that. <coughs> I know how to put it back together again. I've had most of it apart already to carry out some various repairs on it. mind doing a full restoration. It's a 1992 model. It's got quite a bit of age to it, but uh, everything works on it, or at least it does now, electrically, I mean. The electric start works, headlight works, indicators work, taillight, brake light work, fuel gauge works, speedo works. Um, there's no rot in the frame, there's no leaking seals from the forks, centre stand works both wheels sit on the floor but it does stand but uh, from what I've read on the DirectGov website stands don't come into the MOT anyway so so long as it stands I don't mind I just don't want it to fall over uh, it's got a side panel missing so I'm sure I can find a couple up from somewhere uh, I need a battery I suppose battery is not actually that important because it will um, kick over at least. Uh, what else do I need? Battery cover, I'm not sure if that would be an MOT thing. You know the actual plastic cover that would go over the battery. As, uh, the battery's between your legs. You've got your fuel tank under your ass and the battery between your legs. So, yeah, great fun if that ever decided to go bang, isn't it? <laughs> sitting on the fuel tank and a source of ignition between your legs. <laughs> Boom, if you had a leak in the wrong place. I would like to get that done and get myself on the road on something. I know a lot of people will say mopeds and motorbikes are dangerous, but it's an 80cc bike, so it's not going to be super slow. Not super fast, but not super slow either. Um, I have actually, <laughs> I'm on um, a couple of Facebook groups that sell mopeds and motorcycles in my area. And someone keeps trying to get rid of a Honda 125 geared bike. Mm, I've never ridden geared. I've tried a couple of times but never really learned. But um, I was tempted to swap. Let's see if he would swap for my... Um, scooter <laughs> just to get a geared bike and learn to ride geared but uh, I do like my little moped so I'll probably end up keeping that just apply to my buddy in France Learn to spell, well, learn to smell, learn to spell would be a great start. Nope. Crunchy keyboard draw, because all my bearings are fell out. Uh, oh, what else have I done? Not a lot, so not a lot I can uh, talk about or report back on, I'm afraid. Um. The exhaust on Mum's Pajero is uh, slightly blowing again, so I think that's blown some of the um, snot out, as the uh, guy at Mark 1 in town uh, said, called it. It was only a temporary fix anyway. But uh, it's not blown too bad, you know, it's not annoying. But uh, the best bet, I think, is to replace the whole system going to cost because that would mean replacing the cat as well and they're not cheap they're not cheap at all anyway um, I've got a few Honda Camino parts on here which I was thinking of uh, oh, I just don't like freewheeling backwards freewheels forwards alright not backwards 
Anyway, I was thinking of e buying a few Honda Camino parts. I mean, I've got indicators. Well, I also want to put their six volts on this. I want to put them on a bicycle. <laughs> I don't know if someone might want them. Um, speedo. And according to this, the um, Camino I took this off had done 9,649 miles. Quite high mileage. No idea what year the bike was, because there was no number plate, no V5. I literally bought it as spares for a bike I no longer have, so... These parts are no longer required, so I thought I might as well break it up and sell what's useful. There's the indicator switch. Still a few bits at mum's that I'll gradually bring back. and There's still bits on the bike, so I could just advertise the whole bike for 99p and get rid of it. Because it's just sitting in down by the workshop at mum's... Um, Collecting weed at the moment, it's sort of buried in weed. And that was left on a wooden platform as well, so work that one out. <laughs> I'm guessing the wooden platform is a little bit rotten. Uh, decided I wasn't going to sell those bike lights in the end. So I bought those back, because they're actually, now I've cleaned them up, they've cleaned up quite nicely. Uh, I've got. Well, now I've got three of these hard drive caddies. Um, I thought only two of them had those black plastic covers on the end here. I could have sworn they did. Because I put one in a box with everything else back in its original box um, to sell at the car boot. And I thought I had one, this one. Which one is it? I think it's this one. Yeah, that one I put a hard drive in. I was going to sell one with the with the um, complete rear connector and whatnot uh, at the car boot sale with everything, all its disc and cables and things in the box. And then keep because I still had the connector, still had the hard drive connector, but without the plastic surround. So I was just going to keep that as like a spare. But um, out of nowhere, the plastic bit has sort of reappeared. I swear, if I look on there, I'll find the actual connector, because that's where I threw it. Some IDE hard drive sitting on here, so I could soon put another hard drive in. But I bought the other hard drive caddy back, so I thought I may have uh, put the wrong one in the box. But no, I haven't. Either that or I am just going completely stark roving and mad. <laughs> Because uh, I actually can't find that connector on here that I was thinking of. Unless I um, did find the plastic cover and just forgot about it. That's also possible with me. No. Oh well. I'll keep all three, no doubt I could uh, find a use. Get some ID drives. The weird thing is, it says on the, I think it's on the box, that um, these caddies can support up to 8 gigabyte hard drives. But um, I've got a 120 gigabyte drive in that, and it's running absolutely fine. <laughs> USB 2 to IDE. I don't know why it's got serial ATA stamped on it, because mm. it isn't. There you go. IBM compatible... This is the system requirements for this. IBM compatible Pentium 233 MHz or faster. Mac PC 2.5 inch SATA IDE hard disk drive. Uh, system with operating system Windows ME 2000 XP and Mac OS 8.6 or higher. Ooh. So that'll work on my um, iMac through there as well. Because that's got OS 9 on it. Just trying to... Uh, uh, 
screw that red. Oh yeah, it's maximum support capacity 80 gigabyte. Nope, 120 gigabyte in there and it's working. Go figure. <laughs> this battery's still got a bit of charge in it. Um, it's only a 7 amp hour battery. Uh, not man enough for the scooter behind me, not really. Well, I need two of these because it's 24 volt. It'll be man enough, but, pardon me, to um, at least test it and make sure everything is working. I'll put a couple of these on. I want to get some 14 amp hour batteries, which are like 25 pounds each. So it's going to cost me 50 quid for two batteries. Oh, pardon me, I want a touch of Windies tonight. Um, so that's going to be a future project. Uh, for the time being, if I find another one of these, then I could use that. I think it, I think the only thing that will happen is that these won't hold the charge as long as perhaps a 14 amp hour battery would. Or well, probably won't even go as fast as it should either. So, yeah, I would like to get the um, proper batteries for it, eventually. Just sort out the emails. Sirens are busy tonight. <sighs> um, then what I was going to do is when I get the proper batteries for this, Got a feeling that's going to come past whatever that is with a siren on. Yeah, it is. There it goes. <laughs> One of the disadvantages about living in the town centre, you do get a lot of that. Anyway, my plan, because that's a halogen front light on this. I'm planning to put that more spare one up there on the front of this as well, so it has twin front lights. Just because I can, and just because I've got it up there. Um, or I might use a different light on the front. Because I think they're 24 volt bulbs, so I'd have to either change them for a 12 volt bulb, or change the lights altogether. Anyway, I've got that light on the back which is 12 volt. So I was thinking of changing these indicators to the amber versions of these and just bolting them on the side here. <coughs> There's only plastic I can soon screw in that. And actually running them from that battery if I can get it to take a charge or one like that. I'm sure I could find a little cubby hole under there somewhere to put it at the moment, the indicators don't flash, they're static. I don't even know how you can actually class them as indicators, really. That and the fact that they're the wrong colour anyway. But, uh, mind. It's got left and right indicator up there, so... But I could soon rewire that to put a relay in. And have them flash like real indicators. I've actually got a couple kicking around, so that wouldn't be a problem. Um... I'm just going to put another red one of those on the back, so I'd have one as a brake light and one as the tail light. Just mount another one directly below this one. And so that's what I was going to do as my little bit of custom work to it. Why not, you know? It's not really worth a lot being sold, I don't think, as it is. Because if I remember rightly, these were only about 100 quid new, something like that. So I remember several years ago someone in town selling them. I'm not even sure I'm going to get the light bulb out of this. Look at that screw. Mm. A bit rusty. <laughs> I hope I can. Because I want to know what um, connections I've got on there to know if I can get a you know, 12 volt dichroic bulb like that halogen bulb from the store and fit in there, but it depends on the um, connections of the bulb. 
I think it is just a your standard low voltage lighting light bulb in there. If that's the case, you know, finding spare bulbs for these wouldn't be a problem. Being halogen though, that means the battery probably wouldn't last as long. But I could, if they're available, get an LED version of that and be really fancy and have LED lights on it. <laughs> <laughs> More Honda Camino spares. Yeah, indicator light. <laughs> Tell you your indicators are on. There's another one somewhere that tells you a high beam is on. Blue one. Let's get the wheel off here. <sighs> Voltage regulator for the. Where did that come off of? Ah, there's a voltage regulator. Damn it, I can't remember what we took this off of. <laughs> um, I think this came off the um, petrol version of this. That we scrapped for parts. Well, I should say nicked parts off of to fix the other one for um, another person. Uh, well, by the time we'd harvested parts off it, it wasn't worth fixing his um, high beam one. Just chuck it on there, out of the way. <laughs> Here's indicator switches. I've got a few Camino parts, I'll probably put these on eBay. Not a few other parts, a few other parts, a few other things I want to put on eBay anyway. Uh... My idea is, well, where will I now throw that was over there? Just to uh, hopefully get to use these and just, you know, side by side on the front there. Obviously not like that, I will centralise them, but I will make up some brackets for them. So they'll both uh, mount on there. Actually this one's a slightly different design. Bracket wise, anyway, I think. Oh no, it might just be my imagination. Yeah, it is my imagination. Uh. Oh dear. Right. Well, as I haven't had a video up on YouTube for a few days, I'm going to get this one up onto YouTube as soon as possible. Uh. I've just been busy. I've either been busy, or it's just been so hot I haven't felt like doing anything, like yesterday. Like I said, but I'm not sure who was laziest yesterday out of me or Nemo. Because Nemo, like I said, was sprawled out on that chair all day. He only moved to Kip in his box. Because that is actually his box. That printer box is his box. He actually loves to sleep in that. Um... Yeah, he spent most of the day up on that chair, just sprawled out, and I spent most of my time in here trying to keep cool under the fans. Oops, hang on. Why does it feel like I've got bloody hair stuck in, a, in my mouth? this dash cam vid. Quite a long winded one. Ooh, she went through a red light. Naughty naughty. Well, it didn't look like she was actually going to stop. He was right. 
Despite having a roast dinner at Mum's, I'm actually feeling hungry. Anyway, I'm going to shut the video down and uh, get this downloaded to the PC and uploaded to YouTube and whatnot. So, uh, thanks for watching. If you've made it this far. And uh, I'll talk to you again in the next video. Bye.